slightly bit of better sleep than the night. So we carry on in a minute because we've got to feed the pets. And I forgot to say it is day 20. I'm just going to let the dog out on the front at the minute. Oh, I'm so tired. Um, and then I'll be back. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I want to see what I feel like. And then work up on that. I'm now making some glitter glasses in my craft room. These ones are green. I'll be using the Mod Podge glue and green glitter. Got to do three more coats yet on them. So that's my morning. Right, I've just had a shower and washed my hair. Um, I'm now going to just ooh, go over my face to make sure there's no more dirt left on it. I've had a shower to try and see if it makes me feel a bit better because I've still got like a bit of a bad head. I've just spoke to my sister to see what she thinks and I'm just gonna see how I am later because I've got no fever. Um, I've just got a bad head. Feels like a bit of a head cold, so we'll see how we go. I keep checking my temperature to make sure that's okay there. Right, that's that off. Now we'll put on my intensive, that's oh, night cream. <laughs> Can't put my night cream on. Phone stopped. Dropped. I can't read anything without my glasses. Right. This is Evacra Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Multi-Intensive Serum. So, mm, press bump dispense part of face and neck after cleansing. You can use it day or night. This was, I'm sure this one was from Aldi. I can't 100% remember. We get the manky bit at the beginning. Ooh. So we'll put this moisturiser on. Sometimes when you're feeling really, really rubbish, you're best to just pamper yourself and have a shower, wash your hair. Do some facial treatment and you'll feel so much better after it. There. We've got quite a bit left over. So get that on. And this is really good. It smells beautiful as well. So right, I've just got to see now if my daughter will check over my eyebrows because I'm ruined. If you see there, I ruined one of my eyebrows and it's gone too short. So I tried to correct it there <laughs> and it's not worked. <laughs> so I'm going to see if she can help me do help me do that now. Um, and I need a cup of tea and a biscuit or something. Catch you later. Well, centrepiece all done ready. I will have a table mat down as well. That's mine done all in gold. I'll show you this at night time as well, it looks really nice. And now I'm going to attempt to do a picture on a window. Everyone's doing these, you put a drawer in and you stick it on the back of the window and then with acrylic paints you do the design. So I'm going to try that now and let you know how I get on. Oh, and Jessica is playing Christmas, Jessica is playing Christmas songs. I don't know if you can hear them. It's just stopping as I'm saying, can you hear the Christmas songs? <laughs> I looked into my daughter. Play the Gladys Knight one, please. I like that. I love Gladys Knight's new one. I can't think what it's called. G L A D Y S. Night is in Night of the Round Table. I love it. I can't remember what it's called. Just put that in and it should come up. You're drawn. I've still got to go over it again. That's the first coat. I'm well pleased with that. And um, there's the Grinch's hand. I've still got to do another coat over that yet. And Jess, I went to that Christmas tree. She done most of that, really. Oh, I'm really, really pleased with them. I could have just decided to have these pan of chocolate for pudding. It comes in the roll thing and you roll it out, like on the instructions. Jessica's done the decorating. 
picking up up. And then we roll this bit. Oh gosh, I've got paint on my hand. That's not a good look when I'm touching food and I'm doing a video. In case it can't turn it over. And then you can um, brush these with egg. Ooh. You do that. And we turn them over, don't we, Jess? Is that right? Yeah. Place the seam side down. Yeah. yeah. You turn them over and you put them in the oven for about 12 minutes. And then we'll show you the end result. These things are lovely if you're doing little quick breakfast in the morning. Well, that's good in one these, this one. Quick breakfast in the morning. But we're changing it around and we're having them now in the evening. It'd be nice with a lovely cup of tea. Look, I need to wash that bit of paint on the top of my hand. I have washed my hands and stuff and I've done all the dishes and everything, but I forgot about the top of my hand. So I do apologise. But it does look a bit... Do you want to brush these with egg or milk, Jessica? Good. That helps loads. I do Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Should we do milk? Not We're brushing my milk. Milk. Oh, God. I nearly had a milk drench. Oh my god, that's such a bad joke. We all wait for the jokes. I do it so different. Why, right, what do you do? I actually fill every corner. Okay, let's fill every corner. And I do the fronts and sides. Especially. Yeah, look. Yes, you're not trying to get it. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ain't got much vlogging at all today. Now, so it's 180 for 12 minutes. It's for a deep and golden colour, you glaze with egg or milk. Not for you, Bailey. In the go, 180 for 12 minutes. Wow! Right, hey? Oh. I've just been playing. Lydia. Right. Oh my god. Wow. That is that. The croissant completed. Oh no, pound of chocolate. Cool. Lovely. Now you can take it. Right, that is bedtime for me. Um, I was supposed to straighten my hair. Oh no, I shouldn't show my I was supposed to be straightening my hair, but I've still got too much of a bad head to straighten my hair at the minute. So that will be the morning's job. Right, I'm in bed now, as you can see, with my cup of Horlicks. God, I sound so old saying that. It's chocolate Horlicks. I thought I'd try and get something to relax me a bit, try and help me sleep because I'm struggling to sleep. Um, this is chocolate Horlicks, but it's not nice. I prefer the plain one. And I'm just about to see if I can get the undoing on my telly upstairs that starred Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant. I got to about the third episode, I think. And then I couldn't get any more episodes. So... I'm going to try and watch that. Sorry, this bit of the vlog's been really short, so I'm going to merge this one. Hello, it is now Monday day, 1921, I think, of Vlogmas. Um, just chucking it down the rain. I don't feel as bad today, just a bit. God, we're a head cold, basically. Um, I've got my parcel from Project D Donuts going, so I've got to walk the dog quickly and I woke up late. I woke up late, um, it's about 8 o'clock, is it 8 o'clock? That's no, quarter past 8, I woke up at 8 o'clock, first time I've ever had a lion, and it's bloody lovely. Um, the first time I've ever woke up at 8 o'clock, I had a lion, and it's bloody lovely. And I've now just got a message for the donut place, so in 20 minutes I'll be delivering, well, between 20 minutes time and... Two hours time. So let's get walk baby quick. Chucking it down. See you soon. 
I learned the time is, oh, uh, 20 to 10. Um, I keep wanting to go and straighten my hair, but I guarantee as soon as I straighten my hair, the um, donut, Project D donuts, people will come and I'll be all afraid for doing my hair and I'll look an idiot. Not that I look, a, look, a, look an idiot anyway, because my hair looks a mess, but... Um, so I'm just waiting for that. I've just been on to the hospital about a scan I've got on my wrist on Christmas Eve. And um, they've got the wrong wrist written down on the form. Just rang them up. I says, you've got your left wrist, it's my right wrist. They've gone and checked the notes. The consultant from back in, I think it was July time when I had a phone call. Um, he's also put on my notes there, left wrist. I told him about a dozen times, it's my right wrist. So, goodness knows what's going to happen to get there now. They might have to just scan the left wrist anyway. What a waste of radiographer time to scan a wrist that I haven't even got a problem in. So, I'm fuming about that. Um, just put a note of right wrist. Whether or not that gets done, I do not know. So, I don't know how I'm going to get this changed. Surely they can just go and, like, contact the consultant. So, I'm, I'm really annoyed at that. It's going to be a lot of a waste of people's time that day. If it's the wrong wrist, I'll probably have to go back again and get my proper wrist done. I told him loads, it's my right wrist. Anyway, so I'm a bit worried about that a bit because I'm always worrying about something. I'm born worry, I'm afraid. Uh, so yeah, worry about that. Then, um, once that's sorted, um, and the donut people are going to ring my dad up. Um, oh, oh, no, I've got to say, I'm feeling a lot better today. Oh, did I say that? I can't remember what I've done. I think, really, do I stay in my pyjamas all day? No, I think I should just get dressed in time. Do, put a bit of makeup on, do my hair, and get it dressed. And I don't know what the rest of the day is going to bring. I really still need to get some other presents dropped off. Have you noticed I posted the memorial, making a memorial lantern yesterday from a stepdaughter? So she should have seen it by now. And hopefully somehow I'll be able to exchange her presents. Um, so I've messaged her and then it's just my, all my friends, their daughters. But they live in Nottingham so I can't. No, God knows how I'm going to get their presents to them now. But um, that'll have to be another time. And then it's my dad and my sisters. And that's it, I think. My son and his fiance and my grandson, they came to the doorway last night. It felt really weird and I felt awful that they had to be at the doorway, like two metres from the door. Um because it's my son and my son and my grandson but um you know they're not in my bubble or anything so and i've got to protect them and i've got to protect my dad and my daughter so we just start, spoke from the doorway i had my mask on and my gloves and we transferred the presents but i had a long chat for it so it's nice that they actually stayed outside at the doorway for so long because it was cold um and hopefully my son's going to FaceTime his says so we can see my grandson opening his prezzies. Um, and then I'm praying next year it just gets better so we can actually go and see him and I can see him all properly and get to see my grandson properly. So, yeah. Better not talk about that anymore because I'll just get upset. Um, I keep drifting off. I ain't got a clue what I'm talking about sometimes. I'm excited about the Project D donuts coming because um, it's still a surprise for my daughter. Even though it's flipping hard keeping it from my daughter. She borrowed my phone for TikTok last night. And there's a flipping email come, didn't it? To do with that your order is being processed, blah, blah, blah. And she's seen this name, but she didn't see the name Project D. So she's like, a, oh, what's that? So she kept badgering me and badgering me. I says, it's a surprise coming for tomorrow. Just a little Christmas surprise. And she kept badgering me. And she got right down to all these little details. Oh, I bet it's cookies coming. 
This is a nightmare. I can't get anything secret. I hate surprises, she says. I, could have, I heard a car then. I didn't know they actually delivered, so I was really pleased when I see that they deliver. Do they come in a Project D van? And I've got this idea from my daughter's friend. Let me put the phone there. From my daughter's friend, Lucy, because, hi Lucy, if you're watching, and your boyfriend, that she's always putting these donuts on the Instagram feed. I think she just travels down and gets these donuts. I don't think she gets them delivered. But she's always putting them on. On I tell you, Lucy, when you put these on, you keep making me so depressed because I want these blooming donuts. <laughs> but anyway, I seen it come up on my thing last night, and it said about um, you can get them delivered, and I thought surely not, because I don't know where this Project D donuts are based. I thought surely not, I can't get them delivered. And it was eleven pound for a mystery Christmas box one, and then three ninety nine delivery, which is not you know, three ninety nine is fine. And when you see these donuts, you'll realise why well, they're eleven pound. Um, so yeah, it's your fault Lucy, right, I'm going to get fat now today because I've ordered these donuts. Um, but they're supposed to be coming between half eight and half ten, it's now near ten to ten. So I'm going to put the picture on my Instagram, which is East Artona, and you'll see them on here. And I might tag you Lucy, saying it's your fault now, I'm going to have to eat these. <laughs> so yeah, oh, I can't wait, I'm excited to know which ones are in the mystery box. And I hope you will like them. I hope you don't like them because she is a very fussy eater. She likes Krispy Kreme donuts, whereas I don't. I like the donuts from a place in Leicester Town. I can't think what it's called. Dough is called. Oh, what's it called? I'll try and remember and tag it at the bottom. But I like their donuts better because they are like really light. I think Krispy Kreme ones are quite heavy. Don't know what these are going to be like. Um, I keep seeing these cars pulling up and that's what I keep looking at because. I don't know if they come in a Project D van. Do they come in a normal car? Who delivers them? I'll be finding that out. So, yeah. It is your fault, Lucy, that I'm going to get quite fat today. And then I think I need to try and get back on this exercise routine. After that as well, I'll be ringing Dad. My dad. Um, I don't know what else we're going to be doing today. Have I said all this before? I don't know. I think I'm just babbling on now. Before Babylon anymore, I'll catch you later when the donuts arrive. Oh, I need to drop the phone. <laughs> See you later. Between 8.40, 10 40, it's come. Project D Christmas box donuts. Have you seen the size of them? Right, here's the donuts. I've still got that paint on my hand. Let's see what's in the surprise. Ooh. Oh my god. It's all reindeers. How the hell am I going to eat them? Oh my god. I was hoping there was going to be a red Christmassy one, but there's not. Jesus, look at the size of them. I can't remember what the thing is. I think that's a Biscoffy one. That's the rainbow. I don't know. Uh, well, I can honestly say, with it being a Christmas box, I think personally, I wish I, I mean, mystery box, I think personally, I wish I got the Christmas box, not the mystery box, but that's what you get when you get a mystery box. There's always going to be one you don't like. I can't stand Oreo, and one in there is Oreo. I don't know what one Jessica's got. What is it? I'm going to share just the donut, right? What's the one you got? You don't like toast like? I've got this brown one. I think it's toffee. Toffee, so like flipping out the filling. They've only had a little diddy section. What flavour is it then? Can't tell a bit. You get it. <laughs> Can't tell a bit then. You won't be able to know from that bit. Tastes nice though. Mm hmm. Right, it is now going to be straight in my hair time, put some makeup on, try and make myself a little bit better. I don't want a lot for Christmas, there is just one thing I need. Ooh, baby. Let's get in the Christmas spirit. Right, I've got all makeup on, we're just going to the local cob shop for cob. 
And Jessica just realised I'm completely dolled up with my makeup. Oh my god. So, I'll use just like this. I've got some eye. And apparently, according to Jessica, I'm not walking quick enough. I'm flipping 49 with bloody arthritis. So, yeah, keeping the local shops going. We haven't had them donuts yet. Well, I've had one piece. Right, I'm gonna go because I need them. That's my cub. Jessica's got a breakfast wrap, but she's over there. Yeah, she's on to make herself because I've put flash browns on top, but that's my cub. I'm going to tuck in now and I'm going to watch a film on Netflix. Right, I've just realised I have some pampas grass on the front of my garden and I've just seen something online and I thought, ah, oh, I can do that. So I've just cut all the pampas grass down on my front. Can you see it there? All that. I've got loads. And I've got a tip online. You get it all together, just pull off all the surplus leaves that have been hanging down which I think I've just about done. I've got a couple of dried ones there. And then to dry it out, we get some laggy band, hang it upside down, get some laggy bands, tie the laggy bands around there and hang it up in your kitchen or wherever for about two weeks. And then it dries out. You could also stop it shedding, spray each one with hairspray as well. But then once that's dried out, it could be some sort of decoration and I might use it for some craft idea yet. So just a little tip for you. See little bits like these, just pull them off. Or oh, the dark brown dead, dead grass. Some people have pink ones of these and all different colours. Arrange them in a vase in their front room. So yeah, I'm just going to get a leggy band now and I'm going to tie it up. You can see on the worktop there's all left over these, so I'm going to get some hairspray as well. Little tip for you then. And there they all are, hanging up ready. I sprayed down a bit of hairspray and shook them as well. I'll keep checking them over the next couple of weeks. Hanging up there now, all ready to dry. There was one or two looks a bit dirty. I'm not sure if it's proper dirt, but we'll see when they're dry. But that's my pompous plant. Apparently, people in West Sussex are pinching them and selling them on eBay for a bit more money than like a tenner. But that's in West Sussex. Oh, my lips looking off. West Sussex only. God knows why. Oh, sorry, Bailey just walked into the dog. And then, do you want to get his calendar? No. Oh, would it? <laughs> yeah, I do. I can't be bothered to get up. Oh, I got my lipstick. That's the... the um. What do you call it? It's the Primark. I can't think of the name of it. The Primark one where you get the eyeliner with it as well. It's supposed to stay on all day. I've only had a cob and it's not stayed on all day. Right, Bailey's calendar. We are now on day 21, I think. 21, not 21. I can't open this flipping calendar. It's a nightmare. Obviously, it's just a cheap calendar for doggies. They went cheap for you, Bailey. That's not good, is it? Oh, oh, here is it. Right. There's his treat. Do you want it? Is that nice? There you go. There's mine. Oh, flipping, I'm fed up for doing these. I missed a few days. Oh, that's my one. Just a plain chocolate, which is rubbish. You need to up your game. Oh, you <laughs> can't, can't <laughs> judge it with me. I'm... You took your you game with the calendars. Because it's Maltesers, mini reindeer, and plenty more chocolate shapes. That's it. Put the flipping Malteser biscuit in it. So boring and plain. You can't have chocolate, baby. Boring. Boring and plain. Right, off we go. Watch Carol, watch the rest of the film. Oh, sure. hey, baby, famous. <laughs> Esther Turner in the uh, rare habitats. Moaning. But stops when the video starts. Get it off. Give me my phone back. Yeah, I'm like... Right, that's it for the end of my Vlogmas day. What's the date today again? I forgot already. Vlogmas day 21. 
So it will be day 22 tomorrow. I'm supposed to be going as to shopping tomorrow with my dad in the morning. Um, but after seeing all this stuff on the news about the borders closing, I'm panicking now. It's going to be packed and it'll be too much for my dad. So fingers crossed we're going to be all right tomorrow as to. Um, I'll take you around and let you see if we're not. So you can see just what it's like. If people don't panic by, we'll be fine. Um, I'm going to go down because I need to take makeup off as well. And it just looks, looks terrible. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Um, good night, everyone, and stay safe. Bye.